Cubious ones, oh, welcome back to the channel for some more Ultra Pro Wrestling. Today we have another DLC reveal for you. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the like, and let me know your feedback down below in the comments section. But without further ado, let's get into it. Now, before we get too far ahead, the reason there is no sound in this for you this time around is I've already made this video. Some of you may have already seen it as I put it out there, but I just got a copyright notification letting me know that I am not allowed to use the music in this sound in the, from this video. I've been told in the past from Ultra Pro Wrestling that you're able to use the music in all from all their videos and everything when I'm making videos, so I didn't even think twice about it. But there's good news and bad news from it. I'll let the video play, and you'll see for yourself, and I'll explain what I'm talking about. So, Ultra Pro Wrestling! What we are getting in the next free agent DLC signing is none other than... Oh, my goodness, I have this on slow motion so I can take a screenshot. My bad, chat. That's my fault. Das Wunderkind, the man from Berlin. And this is where I was doing my dance, loving the music. Unfortunately, I cannot play that for you, but we've got Das Wunderkind, Alex Wright. Very, very excited to see Das Wunderkind, but this... This is what I'm talking about right now. Including his official theme song, Warped Mind, by Dominic Glynn. This song was playing because I left the audio playing from this when I recorded my initial video. And I just got a copyright notice for it. It wasn't a strike against the channel. It was just letting me know that the videos can't be monetized because it's got Warped Mind playing in the video. So... My issue here is for please, Sam, and everybody listening at Ultra Pro Wrestling, please make sure, because now that you're getting some licensed songs on top of everything else, the game was going to be 100% free and clear for all streamers and YouTubers to make content on and to play and to stream and with no issues. But if you're going to use licensed music like this, which is great, great for all the players and great for the player base, fantastic. But if you're going to include them, you need, you need, you need in your options to have the option to have streamer friendly mode that doesn't turn off all the music, but takes out songs like this. So songs like this don't play in the background of my game. Don't play. So when I'm on stream, I'm not losing monetization because this stuff played. I'd rather be able to play with in-game music and love because I love all the audio your amazing sound designer has made. I don't want to have to mute all the music in the game, so please look into that. I'm begging you to look into that. This is the first time this has happened to me for any Ultra Pro Wrestling video I've ever covered. But again, this is my second time making this video because I got copyrighted by playing this song, Alex Wright's Amazing Song. Now, to go over what I noticed in here, which is very cool for you guys, they have, especially for me specifically, for having an updated roster to use for thumbnails, it includes Tajiri, which you would have seen from my last video, revealing that Tajiri is the newest DLC member, and we've got Das Wunderkin, Alex Wright, right here. What you'll notice who's missing, Victoria. Tara, from my last video from Tajiri, this picture was here, but it didn't include Tajiri yet, but interesting enough, right where Alex Wright is sitting, is where we saw Victoria. So I don't know if she got removed because she wasn't supposed to be revealed yet or maybe was revealed on Patreon or something. But she's no longer here, so spoiler alert, it looks like we caught that one in our last video and maybe they watched the last video and noticed that and took her out. As I don't think, because she'd never been uh, announced before, but she was in this picture, no longer here. I'm assuming, obviously, still going to be part of the game. Um, but probably a little preemptive on uh, announcing her. Um, but yes, as always, if you want those exclusive reveals, you want to check out Ultra Pro Wrestling's Patreon, one tier, 
one price, see everything, $6. I believe they have a seven-day free trial as well. So go check it out. Links will be down in the description. Once again, my love to Hal Haney for doing incredible work with these incredible models. Um, but some bonus news with this DLC announcement as revealed exclusively on our UPW channel earlier. When they say this, I'm not sure what they're referring to. If they're referring, because if they're referring to YouTube, there's no video on him being released on the YouTube channel. Not on their shorts. No live broadcast that I missed. The last live broadcast was nine months ago and then 11 months ago. So nothing that I've seen on the Ultra Pro Wrestling thing, maybe in the community. That's from four months ago. So when they state as announced on our UPW channel earlier, I'm not sure if they mean the Discord or not. Clarification be helpful to me as I was just confused by this. But yes, we are getting also his dastardly alter ego Berlin. Fantastic news. I love seeing that. And this was something I pointed out in the last video, again, remaking this video. But Promotion Wars official at Promotion Wars on X stated that this is like the Rick Rude moment of the Monday Night Wars. Why? Well, because Alex Wright had just been about a week ago now been revealed that he's going to be part of the Wrestling Code. If you're not familiar with Virtual Basement, they're making the upcoming uh, The Wrestling Code video game, um, which has been in development now for many, many years. We've heard about it for many years, but has been announced for their game as part of their roster as well. And then, of course, one hour before this was posted, you know this was posted again yesterday, that they, UPW, announced that they are having Alex Wright in their game. So very exciting stuff. I'm loving to see guys who may never have made it into a wrestling game or weren't in many of them. A lot of these guys getting a chance to be in a wrestling video game. Uh, of course, Ultra Pro Wrestling is a little bit different as it is um, free agent DLC. So half the funds are going directly to the wrestlers and their estates. Um, whereas I believe for the virtual basement for um, the wrestling code, they might be part of the base roster. Not 100% sure as I don't, I'm not as familiar with the wrestling code. But for UPW, all the free agent DLC, they're not part of the base roster. They are DLC uh, that you will be paying for for all real wrestlers coming to Ultra Pro Wrestling. To clarify for that for some of you who have been wondering. But this is excellent news. I myself, not 100% sure if Alex Wright was, um, if he was in WCW NWO Revenge, I was told he was. I don't really remember. I know Disco Inferno and him were a tag team at one point, Disco Inferno being in that game. But Alex Wright, I'm not 100% sure. But if he was, wonderful again, as always, to see a member of the original Aki Games family coming into Ultra Pro Wrestling. That is absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, but once again, I want to put this out. Sam Valelli and anybody on the Ultra Pro Wrestling team who is paying attention. Playing this video with the audio, just this portion with his music, got me a copyright thing so my video could not be monetized, which is why I'm re-recording it for you guys. So if you are going, because I believe Arn Anderson's getting his official theme as well, please be aware that if these songs, anything that's officially licensed songs that you're getting with it, please ensure you have a creator-friendly mode that will at least just exclude those couple songs. Just whatever you have official licenses to that you're not creating in-game that aren't your own, please have a creator-friendly mode in the game to be able to turn those off because I don't want to just have no music in my game. I would rather it just turns off the handful of um, copyrighted music, if that makes sense. So if you guys could do that for me, that would be wonderful. And dubious ones, if you made it this far, thank you as always for watching. Let me know how excited you are as we're not only getting Alex right, but we are getting The Wall as well and Das Wunderkid. We're getting both alter egos. I'm very excited. As always, dubious ones, thank you so much for watching. Leave your feedback down below what you think about all this. And I will catch you all in the next one. Dubious ones. Till the next time. Deuces.